Let me pick up on that comment that you made about uncertainty. Just take us behind the numbers and give us a sense of how concerned you are about the global uncertainty for the rest of the year. Well, first, I would like to say that uh, the, the trade tensions have been quite manageable for us uh, so far. Global uh, container demand grew uh, 2 percent in the second quarter. The U.S. imports grew 2 and a half percent. Of course, they are way down around 7 percent from China, but 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 goods are coming into the U.S. from many other other places, and that has allowed us to to manage the situation quite well. Of course, uh, uh, looking forward, uh, we we also read the the papers and hear the news, and and there are lots of uh, uncertainty, also to especially to how the, the the trade tensions will between China and the U.S. will eventually be resolved or not. Uh, but also all kinds of uh, asset prices and fuel prices are going up and die, down with a lot of volatility. So, so that's why we, we believe that uh, it's right to re re reiterate our guidance for the year. How likely is it? I mean, from your point of view, do you see the U.S. and China needing to come to the table and make a deal here? Do you hear that they are both more willing to do that now? I would, I would. Right now, there's not much that suggests that uh, that a deal will be uh, be, be, be done uh, anytime soon, as far as, as we can uh, see. It seems actually to be pulling in the other uh, in the other direction. With that being said, for, for our business, what what really decides, you know, demand that's that's not tariffs. That's that's the consumer and the consumer spending. And the U.S. consumer is is uh, still in a relatively good mood. Labor markets are tight, salaries are increasing, uh, and, and, and confidence still remains relatively good. We also, of course, have uh, have the fact that uh, it's still, you know, it's a relatively small share of the U.S. consumer spending basket that is impacted by that. It's as low as as as, as four percent that are impacted by tariffs at this at, at this point. Yeah. So 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 far, you know, so far so good. It's interesting that you say that, Søren, because what we've been talking about through a lot of the show is that in the bond markets, we've seen an inversion of the twos tens yield curve in the U.S. that in the past has been a very strong recessionary signal, not for 18 months granted, but still a signal. We're also seeing a big bid for long end rates. From what you're saying, are you not particularly concerned about a global or U.S. recession anytime soon? Well, well, I guess in a way we have been expecting a slowdown uh, all year. Uh, when we when we came out in in February with our annual result, we guided a global demand growth of one to three percent in container can, container shipping in the expectation that we would be seeing a, a nine a, a, a slowdown in the global economy. And and, and you know, global demand uh, has grown right in the middle of is so far, and we also expect that to continue. Uh, for the rest of the year, uh, two or three percent growth is is, is consistent with a, a, a very slow growing uh, economy, and that's what we're planning for. Mm. Soren, can I ask you about your your funding uh, operations? Are you able to take advantage of these incredibly low yield yields globally um, to refund debt? Well, uh, as a company, we have deleveraged uh, sharply over the last uh, last year. We've our, our net interest bearing debt is down from more than twenty billion dollars to uh, just below thirteen billion dollars. Uh, and of course, uh, we are financing ourselves uh, partly or mainly actually through uh, through bonds. So so we are we are enjoying uh, you know quite low uh, uh, interest rates uh, uh, and have also been in the bond market in the past quarter. Would any of that uh, encourage you, Surin, to participate in another wave of M&A in the industry? Do you see that coming? We've just come off quite a big one. Yes, and, and, and we, of course, also participated in that with the acquisition of Hamburg Suit. We don't have any uh, plans uh, to, to, to do further M&A in the, in the, in the, on, the, on the carrier side. Uh, with with the, our current uh, market share of uh, just below 20% on the long haul trades, with, there's no strategic imperative for us to, to do more. We are competitive. We have uh, some of the best margins uh, uh, in the industry, and 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 uh, therefore I don't see uh, see us doing anything in that space right now. We would more, rather do more uh, do more on the on the land side. Can I ask you about the uh, issues? 
um, with the Persian Gulf. Are you still sending um, ships through there? Do you have any issues with the Republican Guard? Well, we have around uh, 40 four zero transits through the Hormuz Strait every week. So this is, of course, a, a subject for that we follow very closely. We have taken uh, some uh, uh, some safety safety measures in terms of not having any ships anchor up or or slow streams uh, through this uh, through this area. Also, uh, change the route a little bit. Uh, but but for now, we we don't believe that there's much. Uh, risk to, to, to container ships uh, uh, transiting the Hormuz Strait.